Hi Ajis, this is the lady and I am a little tired so this is going to be a very quick video but I wanted to come in and let you guys know that, that I have not forgotten the uh, contest for the 2,000 subscribers. I just been out of town and then when I got back in town our church had VBS and so all week I've been at church for about 12 hours okay so um, so it's now the weekend, thank goodness, and uh, I'm, I can get back to my videos and, of course, picking the winner. So as you can see, I have printed out uh, the pages of all of you who entered the contest. And now I am going to go upstairs and take a nice hot bath and just read all of your comments. And then I will pick three winners. And... Um, and then let you guys know who those winners are okay uh, I also wanted to come in really quick and do an update on my unit that I am wearing this is my Italian yaki textured unit and it is approximately three months old and of course I have done a lot with this unit I have dyed it I have cut it I flat ironed it I curled it um, everything you can think of I've done on this unit and of course this is a thin skin with lace and I'm not wearing any adhesive at it laying all down very unit. nicely around my hairline um, the hairline looks very believable very believable <laughs> told you I'm tired but the hairline looks very believable and also the parting you guys can see my part and what I like about um, the thin skin is because the hairline is very natural looking. You don't see any lace. You don't see any um, telltale marks that you're wearing a lace wig because you're wearing a thin skin with lace. And so with the thin skin being around the perimeter, it camouflages very well. And also just the the versatility and the maintenance of a thin skin is just so much better to me, in my opinion, than a, a full lace wig. It has to be adhered down with either glue or tape or both. And uh, after a couple of, of installations and takeoffs, that lace can get frazzled and starts to sh uh, but with a thin shred, skin, you don't do you don't have those issues at all. I can put tape on, and that's pretty much what I use on a thin skin unit is tape, my Vapon FX tape, and I'll put that on. And if I want to take it off every night, I can do that and remove the tape, and it does not damage the thin skin. I use a tape whatsoever. if I'm going to keep the unit on, like over. The weekend so for a couple of days I'll apply it with tape and that tape holds it until I take it off and if I want a, a you know a longer hold for maybe a week or maybe even two weeks then I will apply my tape and my uh, my liquid adhesive so uh, with with my thin skin I can do I can do one or both or neither and um, and get a very good hold because right now I have on nothing other than my moisturizer around the hairline and this unit is on look I mean it's not going anywhere you guys so um, this this particular application I just lucked up and found by just putting on the unit without any adhesive or tape and I just I had on my moisturizer on my face and my uh, skincare cream and I put my unit on and I just felt the unit you know um, uh, sealing to my skin it was like adhering to my skin and um, I've been using that this for, method for every, everyday so. use I just wear my moisturizer uh, with my thin skin and it gives me a great hold for an everyday use so when I come home at night and I don't want to sleep in the unit I can just remove the unit 
go take my bath and go to bed, not having to worry about wearing my silk bonnet or silk, have a silk pillowcase or anything of that nature. But so, let me just go ahead and give you guys an update on this unit. I still love this hair and so it is still holding up very, very well. I am getting some shedding on the unit and I was I was getting a lot more shedding than I I normally get on a unit even a unit that's three months old but I found out it was my era alright so I'm still learning as well and uh, what I did was I when I had my tape on I usually let the tape stay on and of course that's not what you want to do you want to remove the tape after every use okay if you're going to take you you're going to tape it down during the day and remove it at night remove the tape off the unit so that it does not grab hold to the hair then of course and once you remove that tape it's going to pull the hair with it and so you're going to start tape, seeing so, a lot more shedding um, so it is recommended to remove the tape after every uh, takeoff. Okay, uh, if you're going to have your hair in a ponytail or in an updo, what you want to do is to um, make sure you have some slack in the ponytail. Don't have it so tight that you're pulling on those knots. You don't want to pull on your knots at all because if you're pulling on them constantly of course you're going to get some shedding okay so especially in the back because this area in the back seems to be the area that sheds the fastest and that's because you're getting the tangles back there you're getting um, the pulling of the knots by pulling it in a ponytail it is being rubbed up against your seats so when I get into a car or if I'm sitting down, I always pull my hair towards the front so that there is no friction between the hair and but the chair going back that I'm to sitting in. The update, the hair is tangling, it is shedding. And so to uh, minimize the shedding again, uh, to minimize the shedding, I start washing this hair now once a week and then I'll spray it with my knot sealer. Normally, I wash my hair, my units, once a month or twice a month, and I'm, use, I'm using uh, the product Bedhead um, Extreme Straight Conditioner to co-wash this hair. And after it's been co-washed, I let it air dry, and I went today and picked up this new product, Soft Sheen Carson's uh, Weave Care and it is for human and synthetic weaves and extensions and it's a detangler okay so I'm using this trying to see if it will uh, detangle the hair and keep it from matting up I sprayed it all over the hair and then just brushed it and um, of course it started to rain so I put it up in a ponytail but as you can see it's still tangling a little bit but it has been up in the, it has been up in a ponytail so it's going to have some tangles and I'm aware of that so uh, always have your wide tooth comb handy I prefer the comb over the brush because if it's staticky the brushing seems to make it worse okay so I like to take my comb and starting at the tip and comb through those kinks with my wide tooth comb and just gradually working my way up to the roots okay and this is how you should comb your hair, your natural hair, as well as any um, any weave extensions or your lace wigs, ladies. I've seen so many ladies on YouTube who, um, you know, they do their installation of their weave or their extensions, and then they start combing the hair, just running the the uh, comb through the hair from the from the roots all the way down and that is just not the proper way to to do that because you will then 
uh, loosen um, the nuts on your on your unit but if you're going to use a brush I like to especially on long long hair um, this one is I think about 18 to 20 inches so it lays on my chest area and so I like to take the brush as it's laying on my chest and brush it against my chest this way and it just goes through a lot smoother this way or I'll take my hand as a backboard and brush the hair against my hand like this and that way it doesn't pull on the strands and the and the nuts okay so these are just some tips I wanted to share with you guys on how to maintain your unit and when you're starting to see uh, some tangles and and some shedding some things that you can do to um, to correct those those issues those problems okay so as you can see now I can run my fingers through it without any tangling and without any shedding so I'm happy about that but um, the unit is still beautiful I still get so many compliments on this color I cannot believe how many um, guys like this red hair I, it's, it's amazing so I just wanted to come in and give you guys an update on um, the Italian Yaki and how it's holding up after what three months now and um, of course I have another unit that I'll be showing you guys oh, in a short that's all that I have for you tonight I am beat <laughs> and I am getting ready to go to bed so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and um, yeah, be blessed and a blessing and I'll talk to you real soon this is the lady signing off for now and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.